thing about making chicken stock. When you go to the chicken store, always ask for the bits. You get a bag of bits, like that. I think it was a dollar, something like that. And you don't have to have a great big pot like this unless you are running a restaurant. You get yourself an ordinary saucepan and you put some water in it. I mean, there's nothing easier than making chicken stock. It takes about three hours. And you put the water and you turn the fire on underneath it. Right, you dump in the chicken bits, backs, necks, odd wing bits, anything at all. Just chuck it in there like that. Chuck in, aha, you see, all the onion skins. You chuck in all the bits of vegetables you're not going to use. We're going to use this asparagus later, so we, we have to get the ends off it. So we crack the ends off there. Whoops, nearly put the wrong bit in. And we'll uh, put the asparagus in there. We want a couple of onions. You don't even have to bother to peel the onions. Or cut them up, because they're going to simmer for three hours and all kinds of nice things are going to happen to them. You can put in bits of celery. You can put in a leek. I don't put any garlic in, not in the stock, because, um, well, you don't want it to taste of garlic. You can put it in later. You might not want to have it tasting of garlic. So there. Put in all the stuff, even even parsley stalks. I keep the parsley stalks. And I just put them in the stock and turn the fire up. Let it simmer away. Put the lid on until it boils. And um, there you go. It will turn into that. Now I'll show you what to do with that in a minute. Just chopping up a few more odd vegetables, some celery and carrots, even the tops of the carrots. And we got leeks in there now and some couple of onions. And that is going to boil until in about three hours time. This one, can you see that Snoopy? It's going to look like that one. All right. And that one, I'll show you what we do with that in a minute. But that's, that's how you make stock. The stock, bay leaves, Put in a couple of bay leaves and some, put in whole peppercorns. Now there's a lovely flavor that comes to whole peppercorns, a really nice flavor. So we just put those in there. And I want to show you something else with the stock while we're at it. You can read all kinds of books that tell you that you've got to skim it. See all that? This is the scum on the top. That's protein that's actually sort of boiling. It's not dirt, it's just protein. And I don't skim it. I just let it wait. I just, and it boils down to this. Now I'm gonna show you what we do, what we do with this right now. We take this, let's get some room here so we can work. We're gonna take this pot of stock that's been cooking for a while we get ourselves a strainer and let's get this out of the way. Get ourselves a strainer and pour it through the sieve. That's all. All that stuff has had all the goodness cooked out of it, so don't worry about it anymore. Now look, on top of it is fat floating. Enough floats up if you put it in the fridge overnight to look like that. And then you can easily take it off the top. Great chicken fat. I mean, this is just telling you how to make stock, okay? Oh, here's a trick. 